From his rowdy behavior during post-match showdowns to breaking his opponent's bones, I guess if someone's getting in lots of scraps lately, it's Dustin Poirier. And now he's also getting into slap fights with fans. This went down in Youngsville, Louisiana, as Dustin and his wife Jolie were enjoying the Mardi Gras parade. Let me catch you up on this crazy episode. But before I do, keep in mind that there's been more than one guy hitting people in public because of jokes about his wife. You're thinking it, and I'm thinking it. It's right out of a Will Smith at an award show episode. So yeah, something like that happened with our guy Dustin, too. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. When he was on a float with his little girl and Jolie, seemingly enjoying themselves, a bearded man approached them from a distance. Now, this guy had his friend filming him, and from the footage, you can kind of see that Dustin calls him over, maybe for a high five, and then he slaps the unsuspecting fan out of nowhere. Yep, after this, the UFC fighter just climbed right back onto his vehicle and went back to enjoying his evening with his family. Now, before you go thinking this man's crazy, there's a reason why this happened. It goes back two years. You see, this fan was holding up a poster that said, Hey Dustin, your wife's in my DMs. If you've been following Dustin over the last couple of years, you might know what this is about. And if not, no worries, I got you. See, two years ago, Poirier came into some pretty bad blood with Conor McGregor. And take it as a weakness, you must pay. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna make this man pay with his life. And I mean it, you're dead in that octagon tomorrow night. It all began with their second fight at UFC 257. In the build-up to this fight, Dustin Poirier. Oh, oh quick left from Poirier, now a right hand. Oh, he's home. He's got to go back to the oh, couch. Oh, big left and now a right hand. Oh, 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 my God. The relationship between the two had already soured. Why? Well, the Irishman had promised to pay $500,000 to Dustin's charity. And guess what? He failed. Dustin then decided to publicly call him out on it. Was it the best move? I'm not so sure. Anyway, I guess Connor wasn't all that happy about it. So things started heating up after Dustin's call out. And then something much worse happened. In the build up to UFC 264, the Dubliner personally attacked Dustin's wife, Jolie's character. Now, Jolie and Dustin go way back. They met in middle school and got married at the age of 19. But even without all that, she's his wife and the mother of his child. Notorious not only made personal attacks on the American fighter. It was a fluke win, and I'm gonna correct it on Saturday night. Joe Lee's wife! Joe Lee's wife! Joe Lee's wife! Joe Lee's wife! but he also claimed that Jolie slid into his DMs on social media. Not cool, man. It was not one of them I checked. Your wife is in me DMs, hey baby. Hit me back on my chat you later on. We'll be on the after party to win my club, baby. I guess he kind of set up the stage for what happened next, because you won't believe it, but Dustin actually ended up breaking the former dual weight champion's leg. Now, before you assume the worst, it did happen inside the ring, so don't worry. But all the same, it was quite a vicious defeat, as you can guess. Connor didn't take it that well. He went off on a rant in his post-match talk. So there he is, lying on the ground with a leg broken in two different places. And all he can still think of is this. He basically started asking Jolie to hit him back up. Even said that he'll chat with her later. Probably really crossed the line when he invited Jolie to an after party he was throwing at the Wind Club. My question is, how are you getting to the party with that mangled leg, man? Anyway, this wasn't all. See, you also started getting violent in his threats. He told the interviewer that he was going to murder the American and his family in their beds, that he wasn't afraid of taking this fight outside the ring. You can probably guess, but the couple didn't find any of this funny. In fact, they flipped Connor off during his post-fight speech. I think most of the time this couple is pretty mild-mannered, but can you blame them for this one? The speech was pretty off, and the way McGregor kept saying baby when referring to Jolie, it just made it worse. So maybe this once he deserved the flip-off. Dustin also mimicked the way the Dubliner celebrated his win over the biggest MMA star. I'm talking about his famous Billy Strutt. Afterward, Dustin gave an interview in which he told the press just how off-putting Connor's behavior had been. Don't clown around, you know, there's no coming back from that. And this guy was saying he was gonna 
murder me and all kind of stuff. He was telling me he was going to kill me tomorrow. I'm going to leave here in a coffin. You don't talk like that to people, man. I hope this guy gets home safe to his beautiful family, you know? I do think he raised some good questions. Just how far is it all right to take trash talk? Can you just about say anything and get away with it? I mean, how is it cool to threaten to murder someone in their bed? Dustin also addressed the whole wife in DMs bit. He said it would have been different if it had actually been true, but it wasn't. So he and his wife ended up laughing about it at the supermarket. I guess that's one way to handle this mess. In one way, Connor did get what was coming to him. After all, he's not been in a single fight for two entire years since this incident. I mean, it's only now that he's making a comeback in the ring. And it's actually kind of funny who he'll be up against. It's Michael Chandler, the same guy who just recently had a third round submission loss to Poirier. Ouch. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. If you thought Dustin was going to let this slide without comments, well, you were wrong. Because he took to Twitter to mock both of them. He called them his children since he's beaten them both. On the other hand, the American UFC fighter is getting ready for his own fights. I don't know about his immediate next opponent yet, but I do think there's a pretty good chance that he's like one fight away from getting a third shot at the undisputed 155 pounds title. And right now, Islam Makachev is the one who has the title. But let's turn to some juicy stuff. I'm sure you've all got thoughts on who's right in this feud between Dustin and Connor. But what about other UFC fighters? Actually, most of them seem to be speaking out in favor of what Poirier did. Let's take Adrian Yanez, for example. He retweeted this post by a fan, asking Dustin to slap the heckler a little harder next time. He added this little comment, too, saying that he didn't like how disrespectful people were being nowadays. What's more, he also congratulated Dustin on doing a good job slapping the heckler. In fact, Jack Tank Shore had a pretty similar reaction. Okay, so he was pretty crude, but the gist of it was, you mess around, you find out. He also told the heckler that this was real life, not the internet. And before I forget, Shore also called this fan who got slapped a clown. I mean, the UFC fighter who slapped him is currently number 12 in the UFC's pound-for-pound -pound rankings. He should feel lucky that Poirier didn't get a clear hit to his face. I don't think that would have turned out well for his face at all. After all, Dustin did break Connor's leg in two places. Anyway, lots of fans have been supporting the UFC fighter. Others are disappointed that he resorted to violence outside the ring. I guess I can understand why he was so angry. In the footage, you can see his little girl waving to the camera. Who wants their daughter to see a poster like that? At the same time, you maybe also don't want to teach your kids to solve all their problems with violence. Dustin's call, I guess. Maybe people should just forget about the whole deal. It's been two years after all. And that, folks, was everything on why Dustin slapped his own fan.